In this video, we are going to look into more details of how to configure a grid display in GraphWorks 64. Once in the grid display, you can add or remove a row or column by going into measurement grid, row or column definitions. Click on the eclipse to open the configuration window, where you can also adjust the height or width, limitation, and the grid unit type. There are three types you can choose from, star, auto, and pixel. In pixel mode, you can define the height of the row or the width of the column by assigning a number that represents the number of pixels, and this will be a fixed value. Next, the auto mode will adjust and resize the grid according to the contents inside to make sure that the contents will be fully shown. The star mode adjusts the grid by weighted proportion of available space, and it will use the portion of defined width or height number. This setting is lower in priority than pixel and auto. There is also the show grid lines property. If set to be true, the grid line will be visible during runtime. To better understand how to add and configure the grids, we will use a quick example. I will create four rows. Note that right now they are all in star mode and with the same portion of one so that they are all the same height. I will change the first row to be pixel mode Notice now that the first row has a relatively smaller height and the other three rows heights increased simultaneously. Next, we will add an image to the second row and change its mode to be auto. You will see that the row height now is the same as the images. And if I were to change the height of the image, the row's height of the second row will change as well. Because the third and fourth row were set to be star mode and have the same portion with each other, they will change the height accordingly. I will change the third row's height number to be 2, and now the third row has a height that's twice as the last one. Also, you can change the grid height using the resize handle during configuration mode and runtime. This feature is allowed if the mode is set to be star, otherwise in pixel and auto mode, the grid size should be fixed. Notice that when the image is being added to the grid, it automatically pings to the center. This setting can be changed if you select the image and go to Property tab. Under Measurements, you could change the horizontal and vertical alignment. You could change the alignment to the left, right, center, or stretch. Stretch means that the image will stay in the center and try to align its outline to the grid. To demonstrate, we will first add two more columns and copy and paste the same image to the first rows, where the height is smaller than the images. With the two copies of the same image, I will change one's vertical alignment to be center, while the other one's is stretched by default. Now one has pinned its center to the center of the grid, while the other only shows the top half of the image in stretch mode. Each grid acts like an individual canvas. For example, you could add a grid panel into one of the grids and have a 3 times 3 grid setup within one grid. It helps organizing the object by sections to better serve the purpose of organization or logic.